A yoga mat, a bottle of water, and a good mood. That's all one needs to meditate in the heart of a busy metropolis. And this was the case in June 2021, when summer solstice yoga returned to New York City after the coronavirus pandemic forced a break in 2020. From 7 in the morning till 10 at night, dozens of classes took place right on New York's Times Square. Anyone willing could book a place online. This year, over 2,500 people showed up and placed their mats socially distanced on the city's hot streets. The theme for, summer, for, for the summer solstice in Times Square is always, you know, it's easy to find tranquility on a mountaintop. It's not easy to find it in the heart of Times Square. Before the pandemic, over 10,000 people came to Times Square to celebrate the summer solstice on a yoga mat. Douglas Stewart, co-founder of Yoga in Times Square, still remembers how 19 years ago, when the program just started, only three people showed up. There's always a, a curiosity about that, about how can you practice in this craziness, and, and I think that's major, the major draw. But then over the years, people have, been, um, have grown accustomed, and it's become sort of a tradition. You see people showing up year after year after year and bringing their families and their friends. These yoga classes are for both yoga novices and seasoned yogis. Every hour a new instructor comes in, but the program stays the same. I've come previous years and obviously with everything that's happened, it's very different this year. The city itself is different, but the event is really great. The instructors are great. I'm, I'm really thankful that I came. I came from DC, so it was worth coming to. I'm doing uh, every day almost inside my home, so sometimes I want to take outside to like uh, take a breeze to like uh, doing a yoga. Especially this uh, big city in Times Square is like a very great opportunity to like uh, join a yoga class in today. Yeah, so I decided to come today. Yeah. The yoga summer solstice here at Times Square looks very different from the huge crowds and buzz of New Year's Eve. And the contrast is especially evident this year. Some needed tranquility after the disturbing reality of the past 15 months. For Evgeny Maslov in New York, Anna Rice, VOA News.